everybody, I'm Amy and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, I am doing another BTS BT21 merch video with a kind of a little bit of a twist on it. I am a whole 20 year old now, I'm actually 21 this year and I am constantly in a little bit of a crisis. One thing that I found when I started getting into K-pop is that there is a lot of expenses that go into it. There's a lot of merch to buy, a lot of albums to buy and having money and no self-control at 20 years old, it, yeah, it gets a little messy. So basically my whole point about this is I like to buy a lot of merch, I like to be surrounded by things that I like, it inspires me, I'm pretty sure most human beings are like this and obviously if you've seen my other videos BTS are my alt K-pop group so I have a lot of BTS and BT21 merch and also like it's a lot easier to get these things in the UK. So I have gathered some of my more sensible adult merch items that I purchased to make myself feel better about being an adult and constantly being in a crisis and not knowing what I'm doing with my life and really liking BTS. <laughs> I feel like there's this stigma around being an adult and still liking cute childish things. Like I would not consider K-pop a childish thing and I wouldn't consider anime a childish thing but these are all things that I really like and now I'm kind of in a position where I actually have the money to be able to spend on these things and I kind of I really strongly believe that being an adult doesn't just mean that you have to completely discard and throw away all of the things that you cared about when you were younger you know like being 14 I never actually had all of the money to be able to buy the stuff that I have now and it genuinely does just make me happy and I feel like as long as you're not being too reckless with your money you know making sure that you're paying your bills first or you know making sure that you're not borrowing money off of other people to get the merchandise that you want then I think it's completely fine you know you're spending your money on whatever so yeah anyway that was a little bit rambly I'll just get on to all of the adult items that make me feel better about myself for buying merchandise so I'm going to start off with the obvious one which is clothing items so my favorite piece of clothing all time that I have bought I've showed this in a haul before is this BT21 expow jumper like with the little RJ where is he eating the bread I wear this to death seriously like it was really really worth the money I I think the main thing for me is wanting to completely immerse myself in BTS and BT21 and K-pop things like I just I it just makes me so happy and I just want to be around it all the time so buying merchandise and items of clothing to wear is kind of justified because I don't really have that many clothes and this is definitely be one of my most worn pieces and just a different t-shirt just for some variety I never actually went to this concert the tour that they did in the UK somebody was selling this on Depop for a really really reasonable price and I could not resist it I thought it was absolutely gorgeous I think it's in a medium I think it's a medium it's it's quite big so but I love wearing oversized things so again yeah just t-shirts just clothes like you can never go wrong with a cute band concert tee okay so the next item I have shown this in a few hauls too is my BC21 Expow Shuki backpack this is probably next to the RJ jumper my favorite purchase of all of them because like I really I really needed a backpack for uni like doing Japanese like there's just a lot of paperwork that we get so I have to carry around folders and things and it's just handy to have some like a bit more support like carrying around a handbag can be quite you know straining so I feel like having a nice backpack you can never go wrong with that and you can use it for so much like this backpack is the perfect size to just if I was going to travel away for like the week or something everything would fit in this backpack and then if I had like a little tote bag just like the extra stuff that I need quick access to it's perfect like it's it's really really big I think it was like 30 pounds so yeah useful okay, and then on to like the smaller things so I did get airpods for Christmas um I, can't, I didn't actually ask for them I did say this in my Christmas video I never actually asked for the airpods but because I'd mentioned them to my parents a couple of times and my brother got quite an expensive gift my dad didn't want to leave me out so I thought the best thing to do was to get a cover for it because I am the clumsiest person I drop everything I lose everything I'm 
I'm absolutely terrible. I'm like Namjoon level of awful with these types of things. So I wanted something cute so that like if I did drop it, the actual case is protected because it's the charging case. So these weren't too expensive. I think it was about £20 and I just bought it out of the Christmas money that I had. So yeah, super cute and super useful, isn't it? So I... <laughs> Spent actually quite a lot of money on this pencil case. I knew when I first saw it online, I think I saw it on Twitter, like somebody had the same pencil case and I was absolutely obsessed with it. I just thought the colour scheme of it was so cute and I love the like embroidered coir on there. So I think I spent about £18. The pencil case itself was only £12, but you could only get it off the American Amazon. So I had to pay like £6 something for shipping. But if you're in America and they're still selling pencil cases like these in BT21 stores in like just honestly, I think £12 is quite expensive for a pencil case but also in terms of other things it's kind of, it's not like if you've got £12 and you want to spend it on a pencil case just do it. So again this is perfect because like you can fit pretty much everything that you need in here. And like I said earlier I do Japanese at uni so I try and carry around quite a few pencils because my hiragana and katakana like I'm really trying but I keep making mistakes so it's easier to just carry the pencils and rub it out and just keep practicing and practicing like that so yeah a pencil case that's definitely an option that you can go for if you want something cute something related to your favorite k-pop idol or band or whatever and then following on from the pencil case a cute pen like you you can't go wrong with a cute pen it's just a pen isn't it but it's it's cute like it I don't know, like I feel so happy every time I use it and it writes really well too. So they actually brought like BT21 merch to HMV and one of the things that I knew I had to get was a mug. Before they brought out the mug with like all of the characters on it, the, the one that I wanted the most was RJ. Not necessarily for drinking out of because it's quite a small cup and I like, just for size reference, I do like quite a big cup like when I have coffees and teas so I use this mainly for like if I'm painting something for my brushes so yeah a mug we could never go wrong with a mug you always need a mug like whether you're just drinking juice out of it or you're having coffee and teas or if you're painting like I do oh it was relatively like decently priced I think it was only like eight pounds or something which I suppose you know you could go to Tesco's and get a mug for like two pounds so it just it just depends on what amount of money you're willing to spend on like official licensed merchandise so i also got this from hmv these are going for like three pounds like the travel cards are not expensive at all like it's pretty perfect it's three pounds it's it's especially good if you travel on trains quite a lot because you can just keep your like cards on one side and then your like rail card ticket on the other so this little pouch i got in September I think I intended to use it as like a little camera case because my camera was only a little one but I ended up using most of the uni's equipment when I was doing photography so I decided to use it as a cosmetics case instead and it actually fits quite a lot like in here I have like my hand sanitizer let's just do a little cosmetic bag haul yeah I have a brush for my powder powder and then I've got some chewing gum a nail file a clip there's usually a bobble in there but I've taken that out and then I actually forgot these are in here I have a mirror and I got this when I was in London I actually have a Koya lip balm which will swiftly move us into the next thing which is makeup I wear makeup pretty much every single day when I go out I have to be wearing makeup some form of makeup my kind of excuse with stuff like this is I'm gonna buy makeup anyway so I might as well make it merchandise yeah I got this cute eyeshadow palettes i bought it off a seller on depok so I d i'm not really sure if you can get the cosmetics over here but it's got pretty much every single color that i use i always try and use oranges on my eyes because i have blue eyes and when i did makeup they said that oranges and blues like complement each other so yeah we love an orange and i love a pink and then you've got like a matte black and then like a darker brown so when i do like my eyeliner when i try and wing it out a bit I always use this dark brown it's the perfect travel palette you've got everything it's small enough for you to just pop in your bag and then the lip balm is just this like cute tinted pink color so that's pretty perfect really you can't argue with a lip balm can you and they're not like they're not expensive and then i got this liquid lip the shooky liquid lip it's so cute and it's like the nicest color and it is so creamy and it's really long lasting is this considered a sensible item like you know you have keys 
and key rings and you know adults like to put things on their key rings so might as well make it cute but to be honest i don't use this on my key rings i just like clip it onto my bag because it's nice to look at and it's really soft so i only ever take it off like if it's raining because i don't want him to get damaged so i mean a key ring that's pretty sensible right is it I'm just trying to make excuses for unnecessary purchases, probably. Well, I'm not going to feel bad about it. A key ring. And then the last thing that I have is a book. I'm not too sure if you can buy these anymore. When I last checked on Coco Dive, the English version was out of stock. So this is the most beautiful moment in life, the notes. Part one, I believe. I think that's what it, what it is. So, oh, I forgot this is in here. So... This is my bookmark. <laughs> this is the cute little bookmark that I have for this. I haven't actually started reading it yet. And I feel like a lot of people could probably relate. Like, I just, I want to savour it. Like, I just, I need to find the right time to start reading it. But it's a book, isn't it? Like, and that's quite, like, a sensible item. Everybody should read. And I don't think it matters necessarily what you're reading. So, yeah, that is pretty much everything that I have to show. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.